Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Equestria War, in which we are playing as the Kingdom of Aquilia. Now this is technically the fourth time I've played as them, but we're starting at the beginning on a historical, so that we can go down and finish off the final branch of the Kingdom of Aquilia's focus tree for the Second Republic, in which we will be going down and getting the supremacy route for our great nation. So. There's many focuses I've read before, so if you'd like to read a lot of these focuses, I'll let you go right on ahead. But we're going to go just start right on in and keep going on, um, especially with focuses on the right here. Uh, I'll let you read all of these ones over here, as well as the events that do pop up as well, and you can read the Aquilian remilitarization if you'd like to. But if you'd like to read about that, please go ahead to Liberty. Very nice, very, very nice, because I want to get to the conflict between the little states here as fast as possible, because we like conflict here on the channel. But I do want to let you know, we are using patch 1.9.01 for this campaign. Right now, we're losing a lot of fuel, actually, because we're training. And we have some ships in the ocean, so let's go ahead and come, let them come on back. Fight for your freedom, very, very good. And which we'll go ahead and do just the head of state, which is usually what I do, just because I would really, really like... To make sure we get King Morissette, because that gives you a nice little boost to like political power or something uh, when you get down there and the war starts. So let's see what we can do. So let's take a look. Over here, the fire rises. We've got a while. 64% in Rilla, which is nice. 57%. If anything, at least keeping Rilla up here with us is going to be super important. So arm the clubs. That's the one I want to definitely keep at most. Because with these three, they're nice to have, but Rilla is probably the second strongest compared to, uh, you know, after us. So organize a bombing, because we love bombings here. And there you go, Exile Colonel's Demise. Ah, alas, we are robbed by punishing this traitor ourselves. And the Appellation de Origine Authentifique. Santa et en Aquilian s'il vous plaît. Very cool, we get more pee-pee. And let's spread the word, the good word. 57%. Now, since this is, this is on a historical, I'm not exactly sure if how much support these guys will get. But, ooh, what happened there? King of Broadfeld, the Emperor's dead. Piccolini becomes Prime Minister, very cool. We might be able to keep these guys here, but there is an issue just because we're going to lose some uh, support in a different, in a lot of different places. But we get 2,000 extra guns to help us out at the beginning of the war. It's very nice. Uh, anything else down here? No, not really. No, no, no. Additionally, um, we could go down this way, but we have to, we're forced to go down this way anyways. So, well, technically, we don't have to go down this way. Technically, but since we're already going down this way, we might as well just keep going this way. I think we'll be okay if we keep going down this way. It's okay, just because Rilla is probably the, the most supportive of us for now. Ooh. 69%, nice. And this is already... Ah, went back up. 58% is not bad. Ooh, we might do that. So once we get this one done, once we're at 71%, we're feeling pretty good. 60%, uh, we might support Colette. Why not? We'll go and try to support Colette as well. And if you want to read about these, please go right ahead as well. So there you go. Spread the word. Cool. Uh, 68%, 59%. Ooh, it might be a waste of people doing that, but let's keep going down with the Children of the Revolution. We'll see what happens. 59%? Not bad. Not bad. And we are training our ships, or our, our tanks, but break the breakup of the guilds in Vizima? Cool. 61%? Versus 71%. Not bad. Not bad. Ah, 64%. Oh, so. Last time I tried this on a historical, we didn't get that far with this stuff, but we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens, and we're completely out of fuel. Uh, what are we building? We have four. We might want to get at least one thing of fuel. King of Alenia, let's do, yeah, let's do them for now. Cool. Classmaker Strike of Vizima. Very nice, very nice. Now we have a little bit more fuel, and fuel stockpiles are going up. 66. That's pretty good, actually. 71. The Vizima Bloodbath. They all prefer to break rather than bend. 71. Nice. 62%. This is looking pretty darn good right so far. So far right now. And the Rodir Connection. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. 62%. That is. Expand the cells? Yes. The death of Marshal Bertolot. Oh boy. Uh, there goes the Field Marshal. Goodbye, Field Marshal. The summer set the summer sun celebration. Lies or gods raise a sun, not her. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're also done training all of our infantry for now, which is nice. Oh, and we have our uh, guys over here too. Those wood order is gone. Oh, actually, do we have some upgrades? Uh we'll probably get this one done first. And we'll do spying on spies. Actually, um, I think I might have been a little bit too fast for this stuff. There you go. We'll keep that open for you if you want to read that. <clears throat> the Tools of the Revolution, of course, as well as Children of the Revolution as well. Cool. <clears throat> this first industry is muy bueno. 69%, 50, 63. That's really... Oh, the Griffin Frontier broke free from the influence of Nova Griffonia. Oh, Nova Griffonia. Penguin. The Galloping Grand Gala. Ah, very nice. This mod has so much content in it. It's not even funny. Like, it's 
huge. There's so much stuff you can do in Equestria War. So much. But after this one, the Legacy of Culprit, we definitely need to remove. And Memories of the Republic are very, very bad. But it does give us more harmony and communist support as well. But after that, we will go into the Lair of the Beast. So this way, it lowers more Republican support by 4%, which is quite a bit. But an 80% chance to capture the king? That's worth it. So we're at 70%, 60%. We're still looking pretty good. As long as I think we get 51%. It went up by another 3. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. And we are slowly getting a little bit more fuel, which is nice. The yeah, speed, we can focus on that quite a bit more once the war starts. Uh, we can lower that by once to start making some more tanks. I think that would be very good. 63%, 75%. That's just, that's just delightful. Just absolutely delightful. Cool. Very cool. Very, very nice. After this one, we'll do a few new friends. Uh, Stoke the Fire. I want to Stoke the Fire. We want four more Revolutionary Guardians to join us. Which hurts our PP, but... Oh, well, it is what it is. 71%, 59 uh, Just in case, let's go and do target the Monarchists. Just because we're going to not have any more PP by the time this starts off. And at this point, 71% for Rilla is really, really good. I think we'll do okay down here as well, but the Return of Sombra? Oh. Oh, okay. And expand the cells. Nice. And that should be good enough for when the Civil War starts, we should be okay. Sombra, wow. That looks really cool. The King is back. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Return of the King. Princess Mi Amor Cadenza. I still need to play this nation. Crystal Empire versus Crystal Empire. Resurrected Royal Guard. Oh, more attack and defense. More max planning, that's cool. And, well, Camer Sky versus National Republican Military Council. All right. The war against Camer Sky. Stoke the fire. A few new friends, why not? We might as well, right? We have no PP anyways. There's 65%. That's pretty much we're pretty much good to go already. So let's go ahead, just in case. I'm pretty sure these guys will come with us. Oh, Sinister Ser Seratov has been elected, alright. That we're gonna lose everyone but Rilla here, so. And that's okay. Just go and get ready, get some entrenchment. I think that'll be fine. More than fine for us. So, and Geneve Atigue? Go with infantry expert, because we love infantry experts here. The parishes of Sikkimaman join the Concordia of Free Nations. Watertown join Farbrook. Cool. And the Blue Moon Festival. There you go. Pry wins down here. Concordia of Free Nations. Carthinian Pact. The United Ponies Alliance. Hillfolk League. And the River Coalition. A Toasty Family. And Unity. The Winter Moon Celebration is very nice as well. Was it Celestia the sole ruler? Maybe. But a few new friends followed up with what? Uh, actually, how, much cl how close are we? We are 36 days out. We could get 30 more XP. Or XP. PP. Or early 26. But fight for your freedom. That's a... It happens in 36 days, so this would be a waste, because we wouldn't be able to get this done, because it'll bypass if the second revolution has begun, and from the ashes, that's another 50-day focus, and it'll bypass anyways. So, if we did those two, that'd be kind of with PP, so why don't we just collect PP for now? PP is very nice. Cool. So, yeah, m might as well literally just wait, and look at technology. Not bad, not bad. How are we doing here? That's very good, and our planes have all trained as well, but it could be better still. Just go and do that, just in case, because we're using fighters and tactical bombers here. Which would be very nice. Unassigned. Oh, they can't use that one there. Okay, well, whatever. That's fine, and we're ready for war. We are ready to go. Let a fire in about one week. In which we'll still have Rilla, and actually West Keep too. <clears throat> At least hopefully. At least one, oh, the revolution. Stick it to the Duke. Air the laundry. Encourage radicals. Cool. Long live the Republic. Cool. And which next up we shall do what? Ah. Aquilian Remilitarization, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Boom! Alright, we started with four more divisions. Oh, no, seven! Oh, that's really nice. Oh, a lot of our people left. Okay. Well, that's alright. Gabriel Duval, led also by Rodier. Oh, yes, Rodier. Alright, so we're going to do this. Let's look in. Oh! Alright then. Well, these two decided to say hello. And we'll do that, and then if we move fast enough, we actually might be able to just take them out immediately, but I kind of doubt it, but you never know. In the meantime, let's get everyone down on the line. Oh, Vinovia declared war on us as well. That's uh, fine with me, I don't really care too much, honestly. Go in, the royal execution, we have taken the king, and he is gone. Very good. Now that's worth it. Now if we just attack, we actually might just be able to just push ourselves into there. Especially if we have air superiority, and we're abandoning Vinovia in hopes to get Pridea quickly enough. Oh, and they're gone. Actually, can we call on our allies? Yes, we can. Very good. 
Come on. Usually I don't do it like this, and I'm a little bit more careful with our divisions, but... Oh, well. Let's do settle doctrinal disputes. Nice. 67. Uh, just go there, actually. Cut him off. There you go. Pridea. Nice. Head on down here, too. And go there and cut, cut the capital off. Oh, you cut off those divisions, too, which is very nice. And did you win down here yet? No? Alright. That's a little bit of red. A little too much red for my liking. And we'll do that, too. Not bad. Uh, yeah, you can put a lot of pressure on them, and we're still moving through, which is very good. Infant 3, they're actually only 12 combat with, which is not great. Revolutionary Guard 2, 12 combat with, Revolutionary Guard... Eh, we'll use these guys. We're gonna need a massive military here, but that's okay. By taking out other people eventually, we will have more than enough equipment. So, let's do that, and then we'll do that, and then we'll do some of this, and then we'll do some of that. Not bad. Not bad. Ah, the Barony of Pride. Yeah, thank you for playing. Thank you for dying, though. Alright, not too bad. Pretty easy. Oh, and yes! The District of Rilla wants to give us some support equipment. We will gladly accept their equipment. Gladly, gladly, gladly. If you'd like to, you could probably just go to Vinovia, but whatever. Eh, at least this way we're getting even more army XP. Do we have anything? Can we do anything here? Uh, reclaim the Pridean fleet. Oh, now that the Pridea is ours, it'll be a simple matter to take the Navy back and significantly increase our own naval power. Cool! That's actually really awesome. Eh, we get another ta- Wow, that's a lot of capital ships. They're not very good, it looks like. Maybe except for those battle cruisers. That is not terrible, actually. That's not too bad. That's not terrible. It's pretty basic, but you know what? I'd rather have basic than no ships, so... Yeah. It's good to take... Just take the capital. There you go. We could have struggled a little bit more to get some more army XP, but whatever. Safe travels. And then we were... And these guys, a successful revolution. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have a lot of PP now, but uh, we can actually go to early mobilization. That probably would be worth it. Get more fuel gain. You can build things a little bit faster. Daily army speed would be very nice, though. Uh, or, or, we could go this one and get more daily political power, which is almost nothing. More monthly population, less resources to market, industrial research speed. I want to build up faster first. That's more, that's more important to me. And eventually, I believe we will get to integrate these guys, hopefully. Hopefully. But let's finish off setting doctrinal disputes, as well as the Second Republic. But now the time has come for us to uh, mobile warfare. Ooh, a doctrinal debate. Um, I'd love to do that do mobile warfare. I think I'm just going to go superior firepower. It's just so tried and true. I love superior firepower. It's just so strong. Oh, and we got the divisions. Or at least we took them over. We didn't get any other Oh, there's no idea. Okay, well, whatever. <clears throat> In the meantime. Cool. Go and do that too. Uh, Rodir, Leonard Rodir, you're going to be very offensive. He's a thorough planner if you didn't know that. But infantry divisions, let's go and duplicate you guys and make them 40s, because 40s are going to be the bread and butter of this campaign, just like most campaigns currently until Operation or Patch Barbarossa comes out someday for Hoi 4. We, I don't know when, but someday. Cool. Infantry, thank you very much. Infantry, 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 very good. And then boom, and we'll make it nice and nice by doing that. And we have just barely enough to do that. Cool. You guys, all you guys, well, we can go ahead and probably do this and really hurt it ourselves, but that's okay. Inf dispersed industry. It is 1,008, so let's grab even more dispersed industry. Happy New Year. Even though it's been this year for quite a while already. Uh, 1,009, just go and keep doing construction speed. We're going to need more of this, but really, we're going to need more of that, and as well as uh, boom, 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 arenos. And in the meantime, we're going to build all these areas up eventually. Eventually, it'll all be built up. All right, let's spin the party. Merde. Okay, not bad. So be it. We don't have to do with the council yet, and we're led by Theodore Vrani for now. Which is not great, but not bad. Could be a lot worse. The champion of the people, very cool. And we also have probably someone else. I think it's Gadro next, or Vrani's still here, of course. The Rose of Vienovia. Yep, we have Gadro, Cecilia. Gadro shall lead Aquilia to prosperity. Uh, and train if we need to. Radio is very good as well. Let's grab some what? Ah, artillery upgrades. And maybe some ships. I love ships. I love the ship designer so much. I guess after... Ooh, the Mahishal. Very good. I wish that um, even though... Like with the ship designer. Even though we already have it and it's a little bit... It's, you know, all there. I wish it was a little bit... Slightly more depth is further. But maybe that's just me. But the Quillian election. Who won? Well, to win this one. And we want to go with the MPA. We need Leonard Rodier with the Mouvement Patriot de Aquile. MPA. By a very... Ah, oh, look how handsome this guy is. Very nice. President Rodir. In which we shall be going with wrangling the party. Nice supremacy. 
Well, we want to remove mass illiteracy as fast as possible, so here we go. Because mass illiteracy hurts us with our construction speed, especially with the research speed, too. But we're going to rush down this side of our uh, focus tree so we can go to war as fast as possible with other people. But with this one, we what we need to do is probably with the party... How many do we have? MPA? Oh, no. Yeah, we lose a little bit of political power. That's fine, though. Automatically handle coalition detractions. Coalition detractions will be automatically handled provided there's enough PP. Actually, that's really cool. That's actually a new update. Because I was playing the other three paths on a beta version. But this is the full updated 1.9.0.1 version. So, actually, that's really awesome. That's really, really awesome. I like that the devs put that in. Thank you, developers. Thank you very much. That is awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Actually, let me make one of those because we want to make these guys instead. Oh, we have no manpower now. It's alright. Doesn't matter to me. Lost in translation. Cool. Alright. Poach deputies. Uh, let's go and work with these guys. We want as much support as possible. Yeah, since we're here anyways. Form a united Grafonian state. That'd be really cool. Um, what's up next? What we're going to do as archive, probably? Yeah. Aquilian National Archive. If you want to read about the table bill, uh, actually, I'll show you when it when it's good and ready to go. But after we battle illiteracy, we're going to wrangle the party. Legally abolish... Oh, uh, we want to probably get this one. A research slot as fast as possible. So, legally abolish the monarchy. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. <clears throat> oh, Equestrian Intervention in the Crystal Empire. What took them so long? Oh, that's not good for these guys. That is really not good. Angriver? Very cool. Ooh. Divisions, yes. Yes, please. That'd be nice. And we're really out of artillery. Actually, that's not too bad. We're really good on guns, though, huh? Go down to th that much, but do that. We're going to definitely need that. The little fledging dispute. I prefer the former. MP de deputies. More supremacy. We love supremacy here. Up next, we're going to go ahead. Where the nation's memory lies. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Work with these guys. Yes. Vinovia, communism, harmony, supremacy. Yes, please. Rilla, it is. Ah, yeah. Of only 175 supports, which is not bad, seeing as we do need to get uh, Academia Republican de Sciences. So, a shame, but the art has its reasons that reason ignores. Very, very good. Three days left, but let's in the meantime go and construct the Vizima Monument. Yes, yes. The Act of Abolition and Academy. Yes, please. Long live the Republic. We get more supporters. Awesome. Rabble rousing Griffin causes mischief. Oh, uh, wow, okay. Cool. Artists are a rather special bunch. Yes, they are. Quite a bit. Uh, can we still get some more PP since we are technically supremacists here already? Kindly Nigma is very good, actually. I like that one. Controversial writer. More PP, but more... Ooh, co compliance. 10%. Has completed the focus second republic. Uh, it seems like this person is going to be here for a while, probably. No guarantee, though. But this is really good. You lose some stability. Get 10%. Anyway, if we get 10%, let's get some more compliance. We could use that one, so... So now we get 1.56. That's not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Uh, well, since, I, since I'm here anyways and I can see it, that's okay to do. That's totally okay to do. Oh, we have... We're always out of manpower, though. Ooh. We need to get, definitely get more cores and raise a conscription level, too. Volunteer only is not work, is not going to cut it for us here. No, 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 no. And now we have 225, hopefully. The Vizima Strikes Memorial. Okay, very cool. We'll remember the heroes of Vizima. And the table bill. Why not? We lose some PP, but it's all right. 1.28. Not terrible. But let's go ahead and start reading, because I will read the ones I've not done yet. Wrangle the party. The MPA is a political bushfire. Unpredictable, out of control, and extremely volatile. It is time to bring our strange deputies in line with Rodier and the party to ensure the president is never lacking in support for his measures. Why use coalitions when you can pa pass what you want by yourself? Supremacy and stability? Nice. Ah, and a full three-search slot. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Land doctrine, superior firepower, more stuff to tech. I just want to blow up our enemies as much as possible. Probably followed up with what? The declaration, aid, add mage companies would be very nice. Reclaim the periphery. Yeah, we could do that one. We could definitely do that one. So, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Because we, then we will alienate some more people. Which is 150. Well, it's 15. Convince 10. So we get 15. We don't lose too much. The table bill, very nice. Bon appetit, messieurs les députés. Give them allowances and be done with it. They will eat what they get in their plates. Supremacy? Nice. We still should be able to do that. 205, not enough. Let's work with the pat. Get even more support, which is very good. Wrangle the party. A technology will be done relatively soon. And my goodness, we just need more manpower. Oh my goodness, it's so bad. Actually, since we're a full fuel train, train until you die. 
Do we have any extra spare planes? We probably don't actually have any spare planes, which sucks. We're going to get a whole lot of naval XP right now. Wrangle the party, and then get the mage companies, which will be very good. In the meantime, since we're already looking at that, work with FJA, yes please, because we have not a lot of support from them, which makes sense. But let's go ahead and read about repatriate. More political power, I like that. Or you get more consumer goods. Oh, let's get some political power first. Repatriate the idol, uh, Aqu Aquilina. Cool. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. That's very good. The Ido Aquilana is a tense subject in Aquilian politics. Starting out as a fervent monarchist, this mostly pony-based organization has, over the years, become closely affiliated with the MPA's new Republican cause. Since the revolution, they have since calmed their methods a bit and it's now time to legalize their practices once again. Ah, legalization. Oh, we love legalization. Let's grab some better guns and defense a breakthrough and stuff like that. Cool. More army speed would be very nice. Partial mobilization, I want to be able to build, 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 build as fast as possible. Now, 15 and 3, that's not bad. We're going to keep one probably at this time on... Uh, let's go down to 1. 1 for civvies, 1 for millies, and then keep going that way. Next up, we're going to work with the PDNA because we could use more support from them. Which would be very good. Awesome, 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 awesome. we got some mage companies and repatriate. Yes, please. But after that, we're probably going to go do Loisura... Etalment Urbane after we get dispersed industry finished as well as the next one as well let's get some cap after construction bitter planes because we don't want to use updated fighters here the Marshal can see the future of industry and development. He knows that the center of commerce and even a society in the future will be the megacities. In line with this, we must invest in our urban infrastructure to provide services to all those who live in the cities. Many of these jobs will come in the form of military manufacturing to prepare for the coming national conflicts. We'll alienate 10, 20, 30 deputies. Wow, that's a lot. But we do get better consumer goods, more factory output, and military factory construction speed goes up with some more stability, and two more civilian factories, which is, a, I would say, a good trade-off. A fairly fair Good trade-off. There you do that as well. Poach deputies. Supremacy. Automatically stop. No thank you. Superior firepower is very good. Work with the FJA. Yes, please. And I do apologize for talking quickly. It's just my natural state. And I have no cough here like normal, but I think it's just... We gotta move quickly. Move quickly and we gotta feel quickly. We gotta do things quickly. We gotta embrace quickness. We embrace speed. I should really play Red Flood some more. Anyways, let's go and do this one. We'll alienate a lot of people. But I think it's... Oh, look at this. Yes. Yes. Found Le Institut de Preservation Culturelle. One of the strongest forces backing the MPA politically is that of the Aquilian nationalism. The preservation of the Aquilian cultural identity was one of Rodier's main speaking points during the election, and now it is time to make good on those promises. The creation of a government agency with the sole job of sponsoring and nurturing our culture will be a strong boon to our nation's strength and pride. More monthly population, stability, research speed, supremacy, and political power. Sign us up. Very good. Work with these guys, thank you very much. Because we have a lot of support, but eventually we're going to need even more support than the amount of support we currently have. Up here, artillery is good. Mage companies, just go and throw them on there. That's fine with me. Uh, our, I do want to get some support anti-air. That looks, or just anti-air in general. That'd be very nice. And we have enough, just because we're going to get outclassed in terms of weaponry and stuff like that. So I think it's best we get that already. And work with the PDNA, because we need as much support as possible. But this is going to be very good for us. More PP. We love the PP here. And we have no more fuel. Go ahead and you stop training because you're probably all good and ready to go. And one, let's go with two. We have more than enough naval XP. We cannot deploy because we have no other thingies right there. By thingies, I mean manpower. I should really slow down my speech. Well, we don't have a lot here. We really don't. Two is fine. Please tell me we got level two. Oh, these are battle cruisers. Uh, I like I prefer battleships because if I remember one of the land the naval doctrines, they don't give battle cruisers as much organization as battleships. And even though these are slower, having more organization is extremely important. That's probably one of the most important uh, tips that I would probably say for naval stuff. Like, you need a lot of organization. Sometimes battles are won just because you have more organization than uh, the other group. So, if you can get more organization, I would really recommend it. Uh, we could do that, but we're not really needed to do that right now. There's more support for the FJA, but that's okay. Cool. We're looking very good. I'm ready to just destroy our enemies, man. Alright, so how are you guys looking then? Because I do want to save some fuel because we will need to go to war eventually. They're looking very good. We got 94 naval XP. Uh, what else do we need here? Just one thing of rubber? I think we'll be okay. Uh, more PP maybe? 156? Kindly enigma. This is good to get. Um, more army XP and recovery rate. Would be more political power. More resistance to case speed. I like that one a lot. Ooh, I like more political power though. Mmm. You get more compliance growth. 
That is too good a pass up. I've got to go with that one. So we have only one more. Resistance to case speed. I like this, but not super necessary. Um, it's either... This one's not bad. I like the Prince of Terror. I like this one and this one. We'll probably go with these two. But Resistance Decay. You still get 5%. You get 10%. 5% though. More worse for and Decay speed. <sighs> Let's do that one first. 1.66. And then we'll do Reclaim the Periphery. So if you like to read about that, please go right ahead. We get War Goals, which are going to be extremely important. Because we like going to war here. Literacy rates soar. Oh, the places you'll go. Very nice. We get even more support. And political power. And more construction speed. And more research speed. How oh, joyous day. Uh, whipping the party? Oh. Yeah, actually, that would be okay. Now, we can maximize that. Let's do that one first. But let's go and read about the Vision of Greatness. Aquilia is once again fast on her way to rising to become a great power on Griffoni again. We are no longer just another runaway imperial province. We are a strong and proud nation, invested in our traditions and culture. And of course, who else do we have to thank besides the Marshal? Marshal. He has brought our nation glory and prestige, and we shall follow him to the end. Very good. And we should get daily supremacy support for 90 days, only three months. Only three months? Oh, that kind of sucks. The fall of Vava Front. Okay. And we need we don't need any sort of re representatives here. The changelings are advancing. Oh boy. That is not good for some people. But that's okay. Eh, one day. Not getting the research done. Whatever. That's 1009. Let's get some better soft attack. Which is muy bueno. With the party. No. Let's go and work with the pat. There you go. Do that too. The yellow rector is gone. So be it. And we are still getting a little bit more fuel... We are already on that. We're doing well with all this stuff. We're trying to get more arty, but we're looking okay, really okay. We're looking pretty darn okay for arty. So, improved machine tools. It is 1009. So, let's get some more research speed. Thumbs up for me. Because we're kind of behind in technology. I would like to do more naval stuff, but we kind of have to wait for that just because there's, oh, there's so many things we got to do here. So, after this, syndicates alienate more people. That's not bad. Military factory construction speed. Yeah, we're going to do this one. Integrate the periphery. So if you want to read about that, please go ahead. But I just, Oh, we need to go to war now. So there we go. Cool. All right. So if we're at war, we could grab some of this. Let's see what happens when we go to war with these guys. Just go to war as fast as possible. There you go. You should do... Okay, you've already won most of your battles. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Um, yeah, actually, just go do that. There you go. Boreas, protect us. Is there anything else we can do here? Can we, go to, we cannot go to war economy. We need more war support. Just, just a little bit more war support. That'd be so good to get. Nice. Ah, and we got Vision of Greatness done too. Uh, we actually might be able to break over here first and do that. And then integrate the periphery. Thank you very much. Let's go and come over here first. Civilian oversight is fine. Some of these places we will be able to integrate later on, hopefully. So that'll be okay. And let's make sure that we're actually using divisions we want to use to help put down resistance. Resistance is such a bad thing sometimes you have to deal with. It's absolutely necessary. Don't get me wrong. I like it. It needs to be, it has to be in the game. It just doesn't make sense if there is no resistance. But I really need to slow down my speech. Oh boy, I'm speaking very fast. Now let's go in. There we go. Not too bad. Just beat them all up. All right, can we do this yet? Is, yes, we can. War economy. Oh, oh, that's actually a really bad idea. We lose 0 0.2 political power every single day. Eh, that's all right. We're kind of a war economy type of nation, anyways. 30%, go go there. Get more civvies. I love civvies. And we're going to be getting more places here anyways. Uh, let's see. Occupied territory, civilian oversight. Uh, there's no integration yet. Alright, that's fine. We'll go to war with as many people as we can. Ah, glorious victory, my friends. Let's go over here too. And that'll be good. So up next, after this ooh, campaign, get more political power. Ooh, Falcon's nice. Let's grab some better tactical bombers as well. Go and do that. Oh, all right, that's fine. And then uh, we lose political power to get more population, which we can actually use immediately. But Syndicate's Nacion Nacional? In order to improve our urban economic output, some members of the MPA, styling themselves as national syndicalists, have recommended implementing a program of state-sponsored unions in order to improve working conditions while still retaining control over the economic process to serve the state. While some of our more traditional members call this communist, we are more than happy to embrace this idea. Very nice. The Queen's March, you bet we march. We march hoof by hoof. We might struggle down here a little bit, but over here, like, we're just smashing through them very quickly, which is very nice. Obviously so. PDNA? No, broke with FJA. Sure, why not? Delayed auction? Very good. 
Get as much army XP as possible. That'd be very nice. Help them out here. They must be doing the last stand. Look at that. Oh, they definitely are. Wow. 649 versus 20,000. Not too bad. Are they doing it again here? They are doing the last stand again. Look at that. The organization is not dropping. We've killed off over half of that division. Wow. Well, it is always cool to see the enemies just killing off their own men. And ponies. So very nice. Yes. Illiteracy rates at an all-time low. Very awesome. Very, very awesome. Please keep speeding it up. We do need to raise the conscription level, though. And they should be gone very soon. And by us struggling this much, we lost about 5,000. That's really... 6,000, that's not bad. Especially compared to around 60,000 casualties. Not too shabby. Uh, guys, go on in, too, if you can. Oh, they're doing last stand again. No, they're not. Okay. Well, let's grab some more manpower, maybe? Or more non-core pony power. More political power. Less resistance target. Let's do that one. The Griffins of the Periphery are still still clinging to the backward cultures that demean their lives with uncivilized practices. We shall bring these Griffins under our wings, show them how to be Quillian, how to be greater than they once were. And once the lesser cultures are wiped from the land, we can all rejoice in the simple fact that we are all Aquilian Griffins of Liberty and Freedom. Nice. Yes. Freedom. And there they go. After that, we will do the Masters of Tarin, which would be nice. And we will get that too. Actually, since we're here, so we... ah, that's what we want. We want this integration. Very good. Get as much compliance as possible. Let's go ahead and invest in an intelligence agency so that we can put down resistance as fast as possible. And I'm glad we already got. Well, we didn't get there yet. We're going to go and grab Kindly Enigma for better resistance target, more compliance growth speed, and another operative, which will be just great. And better agency upgrade times. So we've got to wait just a little bit longer to get... And we have 1.43 political power every single day. Improved guns are nice. Let's get even better improved guns. Support weapons, too. Very good. And we're we still building here? Yes, that's good. Already's looking very good as well. Do we need more guns? Oh, no, we're good on good guns, too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, wait. Oh, we need more deputies. Oh, that's not good. Alright, so let's do that. And work with the pats. Yes. Ooh, I should have not done that earlier. So, since we can't do any of that stuff, if you like to read about finished culprit reforms, please go right ahead. And we get more political power. Ah, good. Uh, let's go do anti-partisan stuff immediately. That'll be nice. Yeah, we should have. I should have waited to do some of those focuses, but that's alright. Whatever. It is what it is. And 232. Let's go ahead and whip the party. Yes. It doesn't cost us peepee, -pee, which is nice. Because now we're going to need... Oh, we can do the Matters of Tarn anyways. Because I want to get Tarn as fast as possible. Because we want to demand Tarn. Hopefully they're not allied with anybody, but that'll be a good thing to get. Oh, wait. Tarn is gone. Crap. Well. I don't think we can fight a war against these guys, but uh, we'll see what happens. Work with FJA. We need as much support as possible. That'll be good. Hmm. Liberation. That's alright. So, even if we can't get them, that's okay. You can't always get them. But, we ought to do. President LeCrow, President LeCrow. Nice, we get even more support. That's awesome. Any parts and stuff. And, ooh. M Marie Exelmans. Very nice. Boost ideology. Eh, we'll do Marie. Oh, and we want to put down a lot of the resistance that's here. Like, bingo. Just because this was the first area we took out. So, getting uh, rid of that resistance is going to be very, very important. No, oh. Why are we getting... Why is resistance growth go still going up? Is it garrison fulfillment? Oh, we're out of pony power. Okay, that, that makes sense. Okay. There you go. Uh, do we join the pact with them? Hmm. They're looking very good. We cannot join them. We'll do this one. That's fine. Uh, and compliance here is actually 2%. Oh, this is so bad. We need definitely more pony power. So let's go into this. I don't want to delete any divisions, but I don't mind deleting maybe one more because we need so much more. All right, let's do that. Matters of Tarn would be fine. Let's go ahead and increase our conscription level because we're going to need it immediately anyways. And work with the PDNA. Go and do that too. A generous gift. Thank you. We'll think about it. Nice. Oh, wow. Plus 20% more political power from them. That's very good. Yeah, I should have focused on this part a little bit more because we are just completely out of manpower, which is so bad. So incredibly bad. I remember to get the integration, but... Oh my god. That's insanely bad. Oh my goodness. So bad. Alright, well, good luck, guys. 
I think next matters of Tarn is nice. Um, the liberation of Loin Tainu. Yeah, let's do that as fast as possible. It's not going to be great. Let's see what these guys say down here, though. Will they say anything? We can still go to war with a few other guys here. Loina? Even though we don't have the manpower for it, but it is what it is. Computing machine's nice. Grab some decryption. Good, good, good. We got that one done. We got that one done. Uh, it is 10-10. Let's grab some more output, shall we? Yes, we shall. Can't even go to war with these guys, because... Can't click on that. Da. Ah. God dang it! I hate that so much. Ah. Uh. I have to do it like this. But at least this is in the game, so we can actually look at these guys fast. What is this called? City, 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 city. Bye, guys. I'll get that nice. Um, control boost ideology stage coup rescue operative. There you go. There you go. Do it up there too. That'd be nice. Passive defense, more passive defense maybe. And if they can't move, then they have no organization gain or regain, really. Coalition to traction, just fine. Ah, oh, now we have enough manpower. Now we should be able to integrate these territories much more quickly. Hopefully much more quickly, at least. Oh, there you go. Nice. Nice. And who's next? It was Fazera. Ah, over here. That'd be good. Fourth research slot, 10 10. Get some of that. Cryptology, that'd be good. Yeah, the Griffonian Republic is looking very nice and thick. We like it like this. And these are all cores, which is very good to fight the Griffonian Empire, so. Alright, looks like it's time to go to war. Passive defense and the liberation of Lointal. With this, I think we want to do this. It will alienate some people. Ooh, this is not bad. More group of population, though. I want to get this because we need more population, period. If Aquilia is to defend its revolutionary freedom, and possibly even extend it to the rest of the continent, we need to ensure that our army shall be up to the task. Increasing the military budget will provide more and better trained soldiers for any wars that are to come, especially against our hated enemy in the Hatsland. Which is super important. Negotiate about Terran? Um, let's see. Oh. Well, dignitaries from Pulsino have arrived to initiate talks about our claims on Terran. This region was once governed by a discreet count who was a vassal of a kingdom, before the revolution of 980 took place and the area was taken by the Republicans. The victory was short-lived, however, as Count Francis VIII invaded and took control of the region. After the restoration of the monarch, he refused to cede it back, and thus the county of Piemont returned or retains Terran to this day. The dignitaries now try to persuade us not to attempt to retake Terran by force. They're claiming it to wish nothing but peace. But, however, it is clear that they still wish to retain their claims and control the area despite continued resistance from the local populace. If we sign a pact of mutual non-aggression, then Terran will likely continue to remain in the clause for the near future. The dignitaries have made vague promises of a possible referendum to decide the region's fate, but nothing more. We could, of course, demand them to abandon their claims to the region, and only then agree to maintain peace between our nations. Ridiculous proposal. We demand they abandon their claims at once. They can keep Terran for now. We have bigger concerns... No. Abandon their clans, we'll see what happens. If it goes poorly, then we might have to reload. And we're not doing well in some places here. Oh, they they abandoned the claim. The Piemontese dignitary sent a telegram to their home country regarding our demands and never received our, our response. They agreed to relinquish their claims on the Terran region as long as we in return accept to send a treaty of non-aggression with them. This was reasonable, and thus we accepted. The paper has been signed, and for now, there can be a peace between our nations. The dignitaries reassured us that still a referendum would be held in the future to determine the final fate of Terran. Good enough for now. Nice. Not bad. We can deal with that for now. Let's just keep working with the pat. We need more support, so... Now that we've broken over, and we've lost quite a few guys, we can just kill these guys off fast, hopefully. Oh, yes, please. Scavenger, because we're going to need more equipment. Definitely, 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 definitely. Alright, not bad. These guys are definitely just trying to... They're doing the last stand there. Holy crap. 26,000 versus 5,000. Not bad. Could be better, of course. Could be much better, but whatever. And go to Fizera. Nice, 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 nice. And head on up as well. Good, good, good. We've lost about 8,000, 9,000 versus 50,000. I'd say that is a decent casualty ratio. But we, let's just continue with war. House of Airy and Avian. Irie, Irie, whatever it is. We won't go up the road, but whatever. Alright, up next, we have a Smoocher. Make resistance contact risk. Smoocher, we love the Smoocher, but I think we'll wait. There you go. Nice, 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 nice. 
We could do some more of this stuff. I really would like that. But let's get some more political power. With this one's just so. This one's just so good. You get even more research speed, stability, monthly population. What's not to love? Decryption is nice too. Construction speed, please. And how are we doing? We're doing quite well with our stuff right now, actually. Quite well, I would say. But let's see. Work. Let's work with some people. FJA. Yes, yes, yes. Almost three hundred. Not bad. And will we have enough for this? Yes, we will. Establish a legion estrangere. The Ador de Aquilane has thus served uh, uh, its purpose well. It has brought more ponies into the MPA and bolstered its support in key areas, and now the Marachal is a perfect idea on how to, to thank them. By integrating the Ador de Aquilane into the Aquilian army as a legion estrangere, we will create a government sanctioned way for the minority groups to do their service to the state. Which is great, but we can't do that yet until we have more support, which is totally fine because we'll do the rebirth of Aquila. Awesome! Awesome, awesome. Let's kill these guys off. Because the faster we kill them off, the faster we can start coring them, or at least get more compliance. And that's exactly what we need. With the party, uh, more deputies. No, we don't do that yet. Let's do that one. And work with the PDNA. Yes, please. New, new Sky Navy of Burns. They are... Oh, it's a glitch. God dang it. That sucks. I wish I, I wish that was never glitch, but whatever. But Equestria War. I just... I, I like Equestria War. It's a very good mod. It's just... This mod is it's incredibly good. Because the devs listen, they respond quickly to... You know, criticism and feedback and stuff like that. And they just pour so much love into the mod, which should be, you know, commended. I just... The devs do great work with this. They really do. So. Cool. Even if I get frustrated, they still listen. So. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We could do that one. Eh, it's only 3%. I, that was 8% stability. Whoa. We wouldn't... Maybe my eyes are maybe confusing me. Huh. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Go to war with these guys. At least we have some manpower now, which is great. Ah, uh, House of Avian, goodbye. A uh, city you're born. Magnifique. Nasi. <laughs> I don't speak French at all. Uh, we have no divisions of training. Are we still mobilizing? Yes, we are. Large military spending and limited conscription. Not bad, but could be better. But can we do this in yet? Yeah. Yes, we can. Establish this one. More non-core pony power division recovery rate goes up and war, war support. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And work with a pat? Yes. 278 is not bad. Alright, so who are these guys? Ah, so these guys will die because of, uh, you know, the Griffonian Empire. Which we should do relatively okay against just because if we have these guys coming in as well, they look pretty darn strong. And the Griffonian Empire does not seem nearly as strong as it could be. So that'll be good. It looks like something uh, was on my Discord server that popped up. My apologies about that noise. Nice. Very, very good. Whip the party. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. After that one, dispersed industry is very good. Artillery, yeah. Artillery is our bread and butter. But since we have so much army XP, let's go ahead and do some development. So, I've done support. I've done armored. I think I've done this one. Which one did I do? Simon Gilbert, Sophie, Rodiers. Huh. Well? Well, this is armor. Smashing walls. Aquilian armor. Effectiveness, artillery... A non physical fortifications, logistics. Um, I don't know which one I've done before. I really want to do Eagle Heart because, hold on, let me take a look here. Eagle Heart. Not really sure. Who? Let's see if we can promote. Uh, details, details, details. Um, I don't remember which one I've done before. I've done one or two of these already. So, I can't exactly remember. I mean, we're using military support or military infantry. No nonsense approach. Artillery. I've, already, I've done artillery. I'm not sure if I've done this one. I think oh, I haven't done infantry development. So, let's select that one. We'll see what happens. They shall not pass, Doctor. Never infantry is to hold the line against the tide of enemy armor and artillery. Then, extensive for efforts must be made in modernizing and developing our fortifications. Nice. Okay. Improved infantry logistics methods. A soldier can only march as far as the stomach allows him, and infantry lacking ammo are little more than target practice for the enemy. By pushing for further motorization within the logistical elements of our infantry brigades, we can ensure that our troops will never lack fewer ammo. Okay, not bad. Weight goes down, spike consumption goes up a little bit. Okay. And pony knights. Griffin knights are famous for their effectiveness on the battlefield, but traditionally they've only accepted griffins into the ranks. By opening up the ranks of our knight formations of ponies, we can increase the available pool of recruits and increase the effectiveness of Aquilian knights, which we should probably maximize out a little bit more. Oh, more initiative, that's cool. And Pegasus divisions, oh, that's kind of cool. 
Yeah. Nice. It was interesting to see all that stuff. This is looking much better. Still not great, but resistance has gone down quite a bit. So we've got to get some time to do all that stuff. Liberty, Egality, Fraternity. Well, the Aquilian Revolution has always done its best to embody the three principles of Theodore Verani, Liberté, Egalité, and Fraternité. Rodir wants another one added to the list. By ensuring nationalism maintains as high of a position as the other three, we will ensure that Aquilia will always be a distinct cultural identity from the rest of Griffonia, a shining example for all to try to become. We'll alienate a lot more people, we can't do this one yet, but if you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. Awesome. A Strange Discovery. We have been informed of an unusual item found by a group of curious younglings who were exploring a cavern in a small garden near their home. It was shown to local officials, who gave the little ones some sweets as a reward and then sent it to us. It is a strange golden artifact, resembling a crown and adorned with glowing stones. It emanates with magical energy that can clearly be felt in its vicinity. The headgear was inspected by a professional mage who concluded it was ancient and powerful, though further study would require it to truly unveil its secrets. Some are pro pro proposing. It was simply display the gorgeous item publicly so the commoners could admire it. Others say that it's too risky and we should give the crown for mages to examine. Perhaps the artifact could prove useful for fulfilling our goals? Belongs to the museum? Maybe it'd be wiser to study first. That sounds pretty cool. I've not seen that one event yet, but currently we are doing National Geological Survey, so if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Very, very cool. Because getting down here is very important, because eventually you can get another research slot. Which would be very good. But next up, we will complete Liberté, Egalité, Fraternité, and Nationalité. Cool. So we can finally get that one done. Finally, and poach deputy supremacy. Eh, eh, ooh. Let's go and work with FJA. Why not? Ooh, Falkorian military government. Oh, they're going to go to war with those guys, which is very nice with us. And not really much else has happened off screen just yet. Uh, Griffin Republic. Oh, these guys over here. That's fine. Oh, you know, let's invest and get some rubber. Some rubber would be nice. Some rubber for ourselves. Equestria, we could probably... Let's go and buy one. Anti-Imperial Talks in... Chiazbeko. For years, Wingbardi has viewed the prospect of a resurgent Griffonian empire as the greatest threat to the stability of our entire continent, and under the leadership of Giulio Bicolini. They seem willing to take bold action to forestall this possibility, including working with us. Our sources within the Wingbardian government indicate that they wish for a detente between our two nations. Critically, Wingbardian representatives have contacted us with a proposal to contain the threat by jointly preventing imperial expansion. They have invited us to Chiazbeko to meet about uh, creating a united front against Griffonian Empire, asking that we move up beyond our past territorial struggles and sign a non-aggression pact in addition to both guaranteeing the independence of the Griffin Stone. Sure, why not? Why not? So they're in their own faction. If these guys attack us, great. Then we have a lot of allies. The pact has been accepted. And also we're guaranteeing and guaranteed the Griffonian Republic as well. With the Hungarian law. We can only get how much PP? Almost roughly two a day. That's pretty darn nice. We could whip the party, but we, that'd be kind of a waste right now. Let's poach deputies. Uh, we're kind of okay. 300 is it's, it's a pretty good number already. But I was going to do this one too. Cool. Now we're going to isolate some people here, which is not good. But eventually we will be able to expand the presidential executive. Also, we did go up to extensive conscription because we need more manpower, pony power. One of the most hotly debated parts of the Quillian Constitution is a function of the executive office. Our political stance has always been to strengthen the stewarding role of the executive position and ensure that the nation has a strong figure to rally behind. By increasing their presidential powers, they can take a decisive action when needed to ensure the nation will never fall again to tyranny, and which will alienate 50, 60 deputies. Oh my goodness, that is a lot. That is a whole ton that we uh, isolate. Oh my goodness. Is that worth it? Well, maybe. Let's get some better infantry equipment, though. All right, we can do that immediately and work with the PDNA. Ah, uh, no, it's only nine there, so not really. We can poach more people. We can do the FJA or the PAT. Overall, that would be for the best. And also, do you do anything else here? I don't think so. Unforeseen consequences. For quite a while now, a group of magical scholars have been studying the golden artifact, trying to avoid breaking it down. They have conducted various experiments on it, starting carefully but getting more daring as time went on. At one point, a test subject was asked to wear the crown as the scholars wished to see what would happen. This, however, proved to be a mistake. The person who wore the crown seemed to have gained powers of mind control and their personality shifted too. Soon they had magically enslaved the scholars and then went out of the laboratory to dominate the minds of anyone they could find, thankfully. It seemed the crown had limited range and could only control so many individuals, but the crown wearer then approached the residence of Leonard Rodier, apparently wishing to take control of our nation's leader. A guard on duty seeing the approaching group strange group of shambling, brainwashed individuals, was equipped with an expensive foreign rifle. She aimed at the crown wearer and pulled the trigger, killing him. In an instant, the spell was broken and the mind-controlled person snapped out of it. The guard has been awarded a medal and promoted, while the crown has been sealed in a secure underground cavern. Hopefully, it won't be found by a group of younglings a thousand years from now. 
Whew, ha ha ha. Let's not meddle with artifacts from now on. Well, it is what it is. That's just the point that we couldn't get anything out of it, but it is what it is. You know, it's okay. Work with the pap. Um, we might as well. Why not? And nine days we'll have that done. That will actually get this one done first. And even though we alienate 15 pat deputies right now, we still get them later on. Just because we've already started that. Cool. So let's go ahead and do. Uh, this stuff is not bad. Military factory, railways. Get some more military factories first. I like that one. We got to get more millies here. We got plenty enough guns. Awesome. Ooh, that's great. War. Nice. Plenty enough artillery. Really, we could use more tanks and more planes. That's really what we could really, really, really use here. But honestly, it's not too bad. We're doing quite well. Now, the war against the Griffonian Empire is probably going to be a big old bunch of hullabaloo. And I'm sure you guys are already telling me in the comments. Please do your race tax and we'll get there. Oh, my goodness. We're actually building up quite a bit of rail already. Do that and then do some of that right there and then right there. Let's do that. That'd be very good. We have enough PP. Let's see. We're going to work now with the PDNA because now we need more support. 263 is not great, but not bad. Let's go and grab some military theorists for more land doctrine and stuff and quickly go through that. That'll be good. Very nice. Angrifer is gone. The Griffonian Empire is not that as big as, you know, they could be, but let's go do this as well. Nice. Better tanks will be nice. Even though we don't use that many, they're still useful to have. And work with the FJA. Yes, please. 278 is not terrible because we do need 300 down here. Yes, we do. Oh, my goodness. That is quite a bit, and actually we are about that many days out. Uh, we could probably maybe whip the party? No, that wouldn't really do much for us. Curtail poach deputies, we could do that. Eh, doesn't really help us out that much. I suppose we could, one, I'll do it once, right. Because we still get some more daily supremacy support, which is very nice. But after this, ooh, can we do anything else here? We can do that one too, that's fine. Whip the party would be nice, don't really need to do that yet though. Enchanted tools is very good. Go ahead, and we're gonna grab well, you know what? Maybe I want to get some more knights for this campaign. Knights are kind of nice to have. Not great. They're still only 4.2. Slowing them down that much more won't be that bad of a thing. They only get 7 soft attack. Well, these guys get 33. Just so much more soft attack would be nice. So let's go do that. Why not? We'll train one at a time. We can use tanks. We'll have a small mixture of tanks and knights at the same time. So It won't be great, but that's okay. And we want this one. Cool. And infantry gets more max speed too, which is nice. Alright. We're so close. So close. We could whip the party... And we could, ooh, in 10 days, we will have enough, probably, to do this. But we can probably go ahead and just do some of, uh, create the snicker. Just because we, having more options available to us at all times is a pretty good thing in my mind. So, you guys go there, and then you go right there. No, right there, there you go. Go ahead and train as well, and we will have a new general. Uh, who are we going to do? Eagle Heart, maybe... Uh, La Favette? Let's do La Favette. We have enough command power for this anyways. Uh, infantry Expert would be very good. And a Field Marshal? With the Belgium? Why not? Uh, Panzers for now. Actually, combined X arms would not be too bad either. Piedmont became a subject of them. Oh! Okay. Well, we might have to kill them off later on. Work with the Pat? Yes, please. But... Now that we have 300, we can go ahead and do this one when we can. I think I've already read this one, so if you want to read about this one again, please go right ahead. But we are still building up our industry quite well. 110 factories is nothing to laugh at. We're very good on supplies right now. Very, very good. Um, can we duplicate these guys? Yes, we can. We have some fighters here. They're not great, but go ahead and put them over there as well. Uh, Ship-wise, we still need to train more ships. Oh, cruisers, cruisers. Uh, that's not bad. We actually might be able to do this then. And shift train for now. Just train, train everyone. Oh, all right, Arcanite. The new father of Aquilian fine cuisine, if you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. The seeds of a new generation of cooks have been planted. Great. Great, great. Expand the executive, or presidential executive. Very good. Wow, look at that. We can expand a lot of the stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and work with whom? The FJA? Sure, why not? And since we have enough PP, let's just go and do all this stuff. More infrastructure is very good so we can move things faster, and hopefully get some more resources as well, as fast as possible. That's a good amount of manpower, but we're probably good. Yep, and we're done increasing the amount of manpower we currently have, which sucks. But whatever, it is what it is. All ponies front. All right, the Soviet Republic of Stalingrad has joined. Changing Olenia is not bad. That's probably pretty good to save a lot of manpower there. But they did push in. Looks like quite a bit. Yeah, maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see what happens with these guys. Mac 40s. Cool. It is 10, 11. Everyone, more for speed. Better infantry equipment. That would be great. Now, I want to go to war with these guys, but I'm going to wait for these. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Go and do that. Can we actually send you volunteers? That'd be kind of nice. 
Yes, we can. Two. City volunteers might be good, might be bad, maybe. Um, since we're here, anyways, yeah, take you two then. And we'll use Antidote. Nice. Now we could send planes over, but we're probably not going to since we only have so many planes anyways. Oh, we're actually making more stuff here, huh? Tanks are not bad. Tactical bombers, not bad either. Not bad overall. Just really not bad. Not great, but not bad. Go and do that too. Alright, we have 270 support, and which? Cloud break connection? We cannot do that because, well... Uh, we, we can't, we're supremacists, but we're on our own. Long ago, the failed revolutionary Alexander Kemersky failed to bring freedom to Hetzland. He retreated north and became a monarch in all but name, but abandoning the principles he once fought for. While we may appreciate his effort, he has lost the revolutionary mandate. It now falls to us, the second great revolution, to instead take up his torch and bash some imperial skulls with it. And which we could go to war with those guys, but I wanted it to be a, kind of a defensive war, so let's wait to do that. We don't have to do that yet. And I do want to get another research slot as fast as possible. Probably get some more guys here too. Work with the PDNA. Uh, that's not 15. With the party, it's not 15 either. It's only stability though, so whatever. Uh, you guys, hopefully you guys will learn a lot over here. Ooh, supplies are probably gonna be very bad. We're gonna need some logistic companies next. Oh, they actually came over here. Oh, that's not good. All right, and can we do some more stuff for roads? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Nice, quick hitters are nice. Recon, you get more recon, but I did say I want to get some logistics, so let's get that done as fast as possible. <clears throat> I'm a little disappointed these guys. How are you not winning there yet? Increase. Oh, they're led by Duchess Gabriella Eagle Claw. Contingency plans. Because I'm pretty sure these guys have to go to war with us or someone else relatively soonish, right? Hopefully, maybe. Be a little disappointed they didn't go to war with those guys, but okay. Artillery is looking very good. I mean, we're looking very, very good on equipment so far. We don't need these guards though right now, so goodbye. Oh, wait, Stalingrad is gone. Oh, they're fighting Nova Grafonia. The death of Nova Grafonia democracy. All right, that's cool. Ah, now they're gone. That's good. What's going on over here? Extend the line if you need to. I, it really doesn't matter to me, just because I want to make sure that we get enough XP over here too. They are. Oh, they are attacking. We are fighting quite a few guys. Simon, Simon, get scavenger of growth fortress buster this time. They are pushing in a little bit too. Uh, how much manpower do these guys both have? That's quite a bit. These guys have actually a little bit less. They're on extensive conscription, while these guys are also on extensive conscription, but we don't know if they've just recently mobilized or not. So that's always good to remember. Ah. Oh, Barad Majocracy? Yeah, someone does want me to play as that nation. Oh, look at some rubber. Rubber is super, super important. All that other stuff can, can wait for now. Work with the pats. Why not? But we should go ahead and do this one. Aquilian School of Polytechnique. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Things are exploding over there. So what we gotta keep an eye on the Grafonian Empire. What are they up to? Not a ton of manpower. We actually might be able to go to war with these guys. You know what? Clearing out Scheisfeld? This would be oh uh, yeah, that's a waste of PP I just used, but whatever. Um We'll see what happens. They do have a lot of divisions. Technically we could be making more. I think it's probably best if we actually make even more divisions now, so... There we go, 18. Not bad. That's kind of surprising that's the max amount we can use. Uh, go down too. Why not? Oh wow, they're getting very beaten up. Captured a Griffonian operative. Well, that's not good. Alright, we question them. Uh, don't worry about attacking, guys. We're just here to hold for now. If you guys would like to move in and defend, that's fine with me. Very, very fine with me. Let's raise a conscription level next, maybe? Oh, the Republic of Tarn declares independence. Well then. Well, I, I, it's declare, justifying it probably was a bad idea. You guys... I'd love to do that, but... That's what I thought would happen. Work with the FJA? We could. Why not? You guys are just going to get pummeled. Pummeled, 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 which is exactly what we want. Um, not bad around here. Really not bad. We can probably close out of that for now. We can continue doing that. And just going to expand all this stuff. That's fine with us. Nice. We got it done. And I think I want to keep going down here for synthetic resources and stuff like this. It's so good going down here. So machine tool modernization. Cool. 
Uh, get more planes. Planes are great. We need more... Actually, we need more aluminum now. And rubber, which is not bad. But in the meantime, let's go to 1011. We could use more extraction and radar and research piece. We'll do that. But I think we'll end the episode here. So if you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. Which I already showed you earlier. But if you like to read about synthetic oil experiments, please go right ahead. But if you enjoyed the video, do consider leaving a like. It helps me out. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue to see what will happen on our continent. And we'll probably end up going to war with the Griffonian Empire. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.